Hey everybody, this is Always Me Kelly and you are listening to Always Me Kelly Perspectives and Thoughts from Pieces of Me Over Time. This is, well first of all, let me say today is Friday the 25th of September 2020. I am going to take a leap back. I tried to do this last night and it just never happened. So I am going to go ahead and kick out um, Thursday, 9 24, 2020, and Friday. And this is something new that I'm trying. So I'm going to do one at a time. And you can give me feedback. Let me know what you think. But basically, I put perspectives out there. I let my voice be heard. I put my words out there, all the stuff that dumps out of this mind maze. And I just hope that somewhere along the line, it either puts a smile on your face or gives you some kind of hope um, and purpose to just shine on. Be your best self for you, for what God made you for, because we are all created for more than anything this world will give or take. And this world is made up of a bunch of other people. And sometimes we give and take a lot chipping away and we don't even know it or we get chipped away and we don't even know it so some of the pieces of me over time I've been doing this stuff a long time and if I sound funny I apologize I've got a thing going on with my ear because one of those things I always look out and have stuff for everybody else but I forget to take time for me and cause me a problem which I'm working on now so no big deal um, I'm blessed I'm blessed even when I'm not if he got me up, if he got you up, if he gives us air in our lungs, sight for our eyes, hearing with those ears, words to speak, movement in our body, no matter if it is fading, blocked, gone, we're still blessed. Blessed far more than anybody else that has not been given that chance that has been taken on down the road. So just know you're blessed. Even if you only give gratitude right where you are, start there, start small, but be thankful. Be thankful for all the things that we are given, whether it's the problems or the blessings. Because for every lesson, there's a blessing in it. There's a message in it. We learn something from it. And for every blessing pay it forward a kind word kind action just be there listen or do your best self your biggest self you know whatever it's going to take but one of the goals is to always know to grow forward to always try to find the light in everything and if you cannot find that light be one so, hey, um, without further ado, I am going to tap in and um, I start out my, my stuff with my daily verses out of BibleGateway.com. And what I've been doing lately is because everybody's got a different perspective, right? Everybody believes or hears or sees or feels differently. So when I'm looking at these verses, I started, um, you know, I've been, I've been reading and trust me, I am not a scholar. I'm not a scholar. And um, my mind is so consumed with so many other things that I do. I, um, I can't retain it all, but I want to get a different perspective. And I said, how helpful would that be for those who are trying to learn as well? So I tap into BibleGateway.com. And if you're listening to me through YouTube, then you have technology. You can go out to BibleGateway.com and then you can start tapping into getting um, spiritually fed because that's the whole thing is we need to build our spirit up. We give so much of ourselves away all the time, even without trying, that we get in positions at times that when we react, when we speak, when we do things, it's not our best selves. It's not the best image of ourselves. So we need to feed our spirit as much as we are giving away pieces of me, pieces of you. Um, yesterday on 924, the daily, blog, the, uh, daily verse was Hebrews 10, 35 and 36. I named it, don't give up. Um, in the living Bible translation, the living translation, it says, do not let 
this happy trust in the Lord die away. No matter what happens, remember your reward. You need to keep on patiently doing God's will if you want him to do for you all that he has promised. So some tough words, right? I'm telling you. I went on to the Message Bible, you know, the version, Message, message Version, and uh, same thing, Hebrews 10, 35, 36, the Message Version, and it says, remember those early days after you first saw the light? Those were the hard times. Kicked around in public, targets of every kind of abuse. Some days it was you, other days it was your friends. If some of your friends went to prison, you stuck by them. If Enemies broke in and seized your goods. You let them go with a smile, knowing that they couldn't touch the real treasure. Nothing they did bothered you. Nothing set you back. So don't throw it all away now. You were sure of yourselves then. It's still a sure thing. But you need to stick it out, staying with God's plan, so that you'll be there for the promised completion. It won't be long now. He's on his way. He'll show up most any time, any minute, says actually. But anyone who is right with me thrives on loyal trust. If he cuts and runs, I won't be very happy. But we were not quit quitters who lose out. Oh, no. We'll stay with it and survive, trusting all the way. That's a mouthful, huh? That's the message. That's a uh, man's interpretation of what... Um, is being said there but one key, key thing is is that as you notice that this is about those who know God or know of God um, stick with them stick with them and to do that you need to meet Je you need to meet Jesus Christ his son the only way to get to God is through his son Jesus um, and don't quit don't quit don't stop believing don't stop having hope don't stop having faith no matter how hard it gets the good times, the bad. Always hold on and be thankful and hold on to, to God. Anyway, the third version um, of the same 10, 35, 36 Hebrews um, was out of the Amplified Edition. Um, and it says, Do not therefore fling away your fearless confidence, for it carries a great and glorious compensation re of reward. For you have ne you, for you have need of steadfast patience and endurance so that you may perform and fully accomplish the will of God and thus receive and carry away and enjoy to the full of what is promised. Don't give up. Don't walk away from God because you're not seeing something happen yesterday. We are so much of a microwave nation. We are so instant. We want everything at the split second, the convenience of our hands. We can't do that. We've got to fight. We've got to stand up. We've got to hold on. And, and just believe and keep moving forward with God. Some of the other things that I do is to get me motivated to keep filling up my spirit as I also tap into what I'm calling soul vibes and starters and it's music. I, I get that off of youtube.com and I share it. I share it out on my page, always me, kelly.blogspot.com, pieces of me over time, um, just to share it and get it out. Most of the time, yeah, it will be... Um, motivational Christian music but there's a lot of times when I just put out secular music that's just good music that I like so music feeds your soul whatever feeds your soul whatever feeds your spirit that is not going to leave you later um, do it do it some of those songs from yesterday's uh, motivational starters were Vapor in the Wind by Casting Crowns, Defender, Jesus Culture, Keep Me in the Moment, Jeremy Camp, You've Always Been, Unspoken, No Other Love, Red Rocks Worship, Your Mistakes Don't Define You. Oh, I said music, right? But I also do podcasts. I'm constantly trying to pour into my spirit because you know what? I'm running a million miles a minute and I'm doing all kinds of stuff. I face plant <laughs> often, trip myself up, stumble, get in messes, get out of messes, help with messes, help create messes. I am all over the place and I know that. Um, and I get weary, I get tired. So I've learned to keep feeding my spirit. And if you go out there and you find who feeds your spirit, I love listening to Pastor Stephen Furtick preach. I love listening to my church preach. I love 
many different places, but you can go out and get podcasts off of YouTube. You can get go to podcasts themselves. There's so many different things out there. So find what feeds you. That's the point. Soul Vibes and Starters, be it music, be it podcast, be it just readings, motivational moments, be it always be Kelly Blogspot. You know, whatever it is that's feeding you, just keep feeding your spirit. The other thing that I do is I have to be reminded constantly and I look up to those who are out there doing the same thing. Um, Speak Life from Toby Mac. I listen and read and li listen his music all the time and I um, share out, now sharing out on my blog, uh, the Toby Mac Speak Life quotes that he has actually shared out to help others grow. I mean, this is some good stuff. It's, it helps us move up. And whether you think it's crazy or whether you don't, um, the point is, is let's be a light in this dark world. Let's start putting the light back. If we can't find a light, and even if we do find a light, let's also be the light. Let's make the light keep growing and growing and growing because it's not going to get any easier. It was never promised that it was going to be easy. And so much innocence, so much unnecessary darkness is happening. Let's try to brighten it up. Let's try to shine on and shine it out. But for Toby Max Speak Life yesterday, I shared, um, you are not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. That is a true statement. True, true statement. And what would be one of my... Uh, weekly perspectives without dogs coming in and out barking and all that crazy stuff so you get the real me every time stumbling over words stumbling over anything um, or opening and closing doors so um one of the things that i posted back in uh, september of 2016 popped up yesterday and it was one of my uh personal writings that i actually did and i had mentioned um then and it came up and i'm sharing it again this life really goes according to plan as we get caught up in the day-to-day -day, we lose hope in what is unseen and just keep going along and planning whatever we do we've got to stop believe we cannot stop believing so i have a pound don't stop believing you're not alone keep praying on it and know that your life matters no matter where you're at, no matter what you're feeling, no matter if you're way up above that 30,000 foot cloud or you're down in the pits and you just don't feel anything anymore and you're done, your life matters. God created you to be more than anything, anything, anything this world can give or take from you. Everything in this world is temporary. Everything has a start date everything has an expiration date we all get to leave we just don't know when we're going to leave don't force your way out keep fighting forward do your best and i purpose to annoy as many people as i can if that's what it takes to to get a laugh to get a smile to get my spirit fed and to keep moving forward in god's will and no i've not always walked the walk but I can tell you, even as I'm learning lessons still today, walking with Jesus is a whole lot better than it was when I was out there surrounded by people that I thought were, and I really was totally alone. So I'll let you, I'll let you um, think on that for a minute. So as I went on to talk about yesterday's thoughts that pour out of me and i call it my mind maze dump is i uh, first of all i always thank jesus i thank the lord for no matter what is going on we must not give in and allow it to consume us it is hard so hard knowing every single soul is going through something do you realize that do we realize that here in the united states or across the world people are going through things that they had never imagined never fathomed a pandemic an unseen pandemic where people are just being taken and stuck alone and dying and we never see them again this is not the first time our world does not you know this the plague's been out there long before they came out in print with the Bible. I mean, let's face it. And we've had this 
pandemics and these viruses and all of these things in the past. We will get through this. But will we get through this healthy? Will we get this, through this growing forward? That's the question. What are we going to do now? And what are we going to react to? And how are we going to react? And it's not going out there and trying to save the world. It's how are you handling the results of choices that have been made? This pandemic was a big choice that somebody made and everybody suffers. But even the choices that we make daily can impact those around us. And no matter what the result is, we own the choices we make, or we should. So every single soul doing is, is doing what they do for reasons that God, that you, and when I'm writing, I'm writing to God, that they're doing the, for the reasons that God and they know. Sometimes as we wander in this journey, we are just a lift to the steps taken by others, a stone that they step all over or become a part of the muck that gets us all twisted up and stuck for a while. And for me, a bit tired is nothing unusual. This morning, yesterday, the 24th, I, did, I hardly slept the night before. The 20, night of the 23rd, I hardly slept at all. And here's why, when I finally go down, if I get woke up, I can't go back to sleep. But it was probably about almost 11, 11.30 at night. And all of a sudden, my phone goes off that a family member had to dial 911. Now, when I seen that message, I started freaking out because I have a kid that's out working and, and they don't get out of work until late. And when a parent tries to reach their child when they know something is wrong and they can't get through to them, it freaks you out. I thank Jesus for then. I thank Jesus for now. I thank, I thank him that everything was okay. Long story short, this world is jacked up. They go to pull out of the parking lot to come home from work. And on the highway, some car, random car, comes up the highway and they start throwing bottles and stuff out of the car at the vehicle that my family member was driving. So they had to, they had to pull over and dial 911 and hope that the people didn't come back. But people are crazy. People are crazy. We have to watch out for ourselves. We have to watch out for our loved ones. And we're forgetting that. And I am not saying going out there and getting even because somebody did you wrong or did your family member wrong. That is far from it. We don't have to react that way. We need to just think things through. We need to be positive. We need to do as much positive approaches to anything, to everything. Again, we need to be a light when we can't see a light and we need to always be available so with that it kind of freaked me out left me in one of those oh god now what am i going to do try to go back to sleep and then all of a sudden out of the blue, I hear from across the house, I hear a little waking up, hysterically crying. They had a bad dream. They had a nightmare. I could not get them to calm down. I could not even get them to make sense of what they were crying about. It took another hour to get them to calm down. And I had to lay with them and rub their back. Thank goodness I am blessed to do that. Thank goodness I am able to lose sleep to be able to be a caring soul for someone. Even though I sat there thinking, wondering, has anyone ever soothed me? Has anyone ever really been there for me? Because I was thinking, you know, that meism was kicking in. Has anyone ever really been there for me to rub my back when I was going through something? Now, I'll have to say, you know, being from a single parent, no parent, that my, my sister pretty much raised us up and good, bad, or indifferent. Um, we all made it through fine and we are tight. My siblings and I are tight no matter what happens. Um, no matter how angry we might get at each other, no matter what is or what isn't, we have an unconditional love and we will never turn our backs on each other. Blessed. Blessed. Different time though. When, that, when, when those are the only ones that you have, it makes a difference. Or 
when it comes down to it, when you have everything, you forget what matters. These are my perspectives, y'all. These are my perspectives. So I realized at that moment, that just those simple moments, those simple moments of that love, that, that what soothes so, to know somebody's there, those quiet, precious moments, not doing anything at all, but just being there, matter. So the day before, I had some very unnecessary moments and I hit my limit. And just because I walk the walk and I do my best to be obedient, I am far from perfect. I am more human than anybody even remotely thinks that I am. Just like everybody thinks that I'm this really strong person. I am not. I am a person just like you. We all have our limits. We all do stupid things. We all say stupid things. We all do great things. I am no different. I've been out here making my way since I was 13, and I am thankful that my siblings, no matter where we are, no matter what we are doing, or even if we got upset with one another, we always have each other. And even for nothing, nothing becomes everything. Think about that. What I felt and what I feel at times is I'm too transparent. I am so transparent, but I don't lie about anything and I, I try to keep it real. Um, I don't seek sympathy. I am never out there trying to seek sympathy. So if it seems that way, um, no. As a matter of fact, I probably just added 10 more feet to the wall that I keep up because I, that's just how I am, just how I am. Good, bad, or indifferent, and I own, I own all of my differences. But when I reach my limit, when I've done my best, and I, I just keep getting over and over from multiples, it's just never enough. When the feeling came through to me on that call that woke me out of the sleep that I just had, that 911 call, all I could think of was, I just hope this is not the time that's gonna eventually come. What kind of thought process is that? When you constantly, you know, this world is so messed up and it's getting darker by the day that you have to think the worst before you just say, well, maybe it's a mistake. Anyway, when I realized that earlier that day, I quit. I quit. I um, had a little bit of a falling out um, with some someone. Um, and it was just a matter of, you know what? I've had enough of people constantly only coming to me for stuff. I'm being real, I'm being real. I will give the shirt off of my back and I do whatever I can for anybody until I realize that I should not be. And sometimes that takes a little while. And a good quote that came out today was, if it's robbing you of peace, it's too expensive. You can't get back that time. You can't get back the time. I can't get back that time that during that little cycle, um, I got to the point to where I, rude things were said and I turned around and I responded rudely. But I'm human. It is what it is. And I said I was going to quit. I said, I'm done. I'm quitting on everybody. And I say that all the time. That's it. You guys go figure it out. How often do we do that? How often do we do that? I mean, we can't do everything and we can't do it on our own, but we absolutely have to make sure when we are doing life with others that they are no agenda friends, that they are family that, that really cares and wants us. And even family sometimes, um, they get twisted, right? The bottom line is people are to love you for you, not for what you do and not for what you can do for them because that's not love. Love is an action. Show up. And show up without expectation. Show up not because you want something in return. And if you put yourself out there 
from my own experience, if you put yourself out there all the time, yeah, if you don't keep feeding your spirit, eventually you're going to give everything you got of you away. And that's not what God made any of us for. And I'm learning lessons every day, every day. And I'm teaching them as I do my motivational speeches and I talk to people and I'm in support groups and I'm in this and I'm in that. And I'm, you know, every day is a life lesson. So yesterday when I realized I can't quit, <laughs> even if I don't have any space of my own, I mean, for crying out loud, I go to answer that, that phone that was telling me there was an emergency and here I can't move because the hundred pound beast of a dog is laying right up next to me and got me pinned down with the covers. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but yeah, um, not often, but I, the, the animals are fur family. They, they, they come in and try to take over wherever they can. You know, he, he thinks he's a puppy. Most importantly, he's constantly wanting that love and attention. Don't we all? I don't have time for myself, but I've been put in a spot to where I'm blessed. I am blessed to have things that I get to care about and that want to care about me, that want to be a part of me. None of the cries in the night whether at a young age or grown, you know, those being woke up in the middle of the night filled, you know, with darkness and, and the dreams that scare us half to death. And when they wake us up and we can't go back to sleep, if I was a kid, I used to dream. Or what about the dreams that we have in our hearts and they don't work out and we're shattered and we can't stop crying. Why? I don't know. I am my own worst critic and I think too much. I know that, um, that, like I said, that wall of mine, I just keep building taller and taller. But, um, a lot of that is that I put all that I have in believing in others and I keep doing so until I can't see, even though I hope the best for everybody. Um, that once I see that their actions speak louder than what I should be doing, then it just like, oh, did it again. So I, I apologize if I'm talking in riddle and fragment. But I'm real. And how many of you are real? How many of you know your authentic self? You know, me caring about anybody else and trying to see the best in every single soul that I connect with, that's never an issue. We should all want to encourage and know and speak blessings and show blessings with the others that we connect with just as we should be encouraging everyone to cling to jesus christ to get to know god and go through jesus christ to never give up Never give up whether you walk with Jesus or you don't. Never give up when you are working towards goals, towards positive moments, to, towards growth, shining that light as you're going along. Don't give up, but do yourself a favor and meet Jesus right where you are and ask him to come in and hold the lantern for you, with you, by you. We should encourage everybody to cling to Jesus, not give up, depending directly on Jesus all the, while, all the while we are encouraging others to be their best selves and letting them know how much they are worth and why we are here in the first place. Who am I? I know who I am. I'm just a mere speck in this vast world, a dust particle or a vapor in the wind, right? Whew. I was here yesterday and now I'm gone or I'm somewhere. I'm out there. Label it as you will, this thought process, this mind maze. I know there are moments that I truly forget my place in this world. 
I know truly the moments that I show out to not be my best self or a reflection of all I have worked so hard to get away from. To be my authentic self while I am getting caught up in worldly messes. To be my authentic self and not believe in me when Jesus says, I am a daughter of the Most High King. So are you. You are a son and daughter of the Most High King, the one that created you. He sent down his only flesh son so that life would be created, so that we could have life. We are worth more than we ever give ourselves credit for, even when we mess up. When I react, after I've kind of freaked out and I acknowledge the fact that, uh-oh, what did I just do? All that time I spent, all these years, I know that I've never said once that I am better than anybody. I know I've never once said that I am perfect. But I know I have also worked hard to not go backwards, to not engage in negativity, to not even entertain conversations that are disrespectful or foul or, hey, let's face it, if somebody tells you to go F off, say thank you and say goodbye. Because if that's what they truly feel, no matter what they're going through, if they don't have that self-respect for themselves and they think that way about anyone or say that about anyone, be done with it. Move on. It's not necessarily you. Not until you engage back. And yeah, I have to tell you, I still got a little bit of that fighter in me. You know, call it stubbornness, call it crazy. But if you keep engaging with me, sometimes I forget and I engage back. And I'm wrong for that. And I have to live in my own humiliation and forgiveness that I have requested. But it's all lessons. And there have been so many powerful lessons in 2020. There has been so many powerful lessons in my life completely. And I am thankful that God allows me after the fact to see that there's a message in the messes, that there's a lesson that we can learn from. And it is all about our choices. You can make a mistake and that's just what it is. You can do it twice and it could still be a mistake. But when you keep repeating a process over and over, it's a choice. And no matter what, even if you made a choice and it turned out to be a mistake, be accountable for the result. Because every single choice you make has a tsunami wave of results that come out after. And if you cannot be big enough to stand your ground to see those results through then you shouldn't be making the choices we have all been given freedom of will and freedom of choice that is one thing we all have in common the other thing is that Jesus Christ died on the cross so that we all could live we are all allowed and offered to call upon God through Jesus Christ, to be washed clean by the blood that flowed out when he hung on that cross, to do our very best to purpose with a compass in hand, our moral compass, to keep moving forward and be better humans, to try to shine a light, be a light, and not take it, not add to the darkness. But when we do, when we stumble, when we get dirty, seek out mercy in the dirt. The only way to do that is to know Jesus. So where am I going with this? Yeah, you've got to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And even when you do, things are going to happen. You're going to probably get more. <laughs> I mean, but there's going to be a great peace that fills you up. And you're going to grow. And you're going to keep growing. 
So I know the lessons have been powerful these past couple years, several years, this year, and learning about myself, learning about humanity and living in humility in this vast world that we have. More importantly, learning more and more every day about myself, no matter how much I grow forward in the love of Christ. Man, I can't begin to tell you. When you do your best and it's not good enough for the world, just remember, takers will always take and do everything they can to manipulate those that they are taking from. Givers will eventually run out of anything and everything to give. That's a fact. Not that they do not love, not that they do not want to see all they are blessed with to succeed in the dreams and the goals being their best self. Healthy and finding the joy deep inside for those that they're giving. But the truth is we can talk the talk all day long, even for other souls, filling encouragement and ideas to everyone else. But if each and every soul who's given life on this planet does not walk the walk, they talk themselves. All it becomes is noise. And like the virus that we cannot see, the pandemic of 2020, eventually the lands with those who give even one second to care, man, opening doors of all that could be, all that should never be, and all that will allow to be, just wears us down and wears us out. Eventually, everything that comes with it, the stress, the anxiety, the constant spin will end up killing us. Not only is that bad, as I try to make sense of all these thoughts that came flowing out of my mind yesterday, but not ever, not every soul that is not walking the walk, I want to make this point clear, not every soul that is not walking the walk with Jesus Christ, that doesn't have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ, is a bad person, is out there doing things they shouldn't be doing. That's not the fact. And as a matter of fact, even those that are out there confessing Christ and out there calling themselves Christians are genuinely good. Not every soul that continually says that I am a true and honest person really have that deep relationship with Jesus Christ. Because, in my opinion, we're all broken people. And if we're walking the walk and talking the talk and we're with Jesus and he's in us, we are not out there broadcasting that we're good. We're not defending ourselves to the world. We are taking up our business, our personal business, our personal issues with Christ alone and seeking forgiveness and doing everything we possibly can in the power of God and his blood to make a brighter place for the next steps that we take. But you know what? Humanity is like that. You know, that old Forrest Gump movie, life is like a box of chocolates. You just never know what you're going to get. We never know what we're going to get when we connect with people. Yeah, you can read things on the outside, but you don't know the contents of what someone has inside until you truly dive in. And sometimes when you dive in, you get messy, you get hurt, you get broken. So Lord, I thank you for allowing me another day. Yesterday, I thank you for today to find and learn to stop stepping up or being available to hear when somebody calls out my failing point. My transparency is that I thrive by helping others and others know that. And ever since I can remember, ever since I can remember, I forget when to stop. I forget those boundaries. Now call it, you know what? You know everything, Lord. You know exactly what it means. You know exactly every single thing about every single soul, myself, 
anybody listening, anybody watching, you know it all. Whether you have that conversation yourself with Jesus Christ, the Lord God, or you're just sitting here listening saying, wow, this person has got something going on, or they're crazy, whatever you're thinking, just know this. God knows every single thing. Just imagine you turn around and he's standing right there. He's sitting right there. He knows everything. He created this world. He allows the air in our lungs. That same air that blows the leaves in the trees that nobody can ever see. But we know it's happening. Truth. I didn't write it. The Bible's been around for more than 2,000 years. I just know... From the time I started walking forward in 1995, I have had my hills and valleys, but I've been blessed beyond all deserving in all measure. And I pray that you find your way, you renew your way, you become a light to lead others that way, to help people grow forward through all of what's going on or not going on in this 2020 world. Knowing none of us are here and now are perfect. None of us are perfect. No matter how we seek our perfection in everything or anyone we are entitled or interacted or whatever word you want to use, tied to, there is only one perfect soul. And he died on the cross. And unless you have him inside your living spirit, inside your soul, you won't even understand. So knowing the lasting victory is only with Jesus. Everything in the world is temporary. The storms, even they run out of rain. Sure, we may have to change things, move, put things away, never visit what breaks us, revisit what breaks us. I just pray for me. Yesterday, my prayer was that the Lord never, ever, ever give up on me and keep me in the moment. Because you know what? Yesterday is gone. No matter what we did, no matter, no matter what was done, yesterday is gone and tomorrow is not promised. So that humility, that pain, that what we've done to others or what they've done to us, what have we asked to do to reconcile that? What have we asked to do for forgiveness? Yeah, I get way too much time on my hands. <clears throat> Sorry, I have way too much time on my hands these days and have since this whole pandemic. So it makes it easy for me to sit and be real. But the bottom line is, as soon I get to go back and play in the tech booth and maybe, depending on if I lose my hearing all the way or not, um, get back up and sing. But in the meantime... No matter what happens, I can say this, is that I am thankful in the storm. I am thankful in the blessings. I am thankful that he got me back up, even if I don't know what I'm going to do. So no matter how much or how little, no matter how much we want or how much we have, none of it matters in the end. I pray that I never become that angry soul that just responds. And I am reminded I am still a huge work in progress. I pray that we all get to pick ourselves back up, no matter what we got knocked down with or for. I pray that anyone, anyone I am connected with is able to meet Jesus right where they are. No matter if I am wiping away the tears from weariness and brushing the dirt off, seeking that mercy right where I am, for me and for all, I am connected. And every single soul that calls out to Jesus, I pray that he is there for them and they feel it always. You know, life can be, life, like, life can be, I'm trying to read what I wrote here yesterday. Life like can feel and be like a scent of a fresh leaf. I'll have to reword that. But the bottom line is, is life can be like freshly sent, 
scents of freshly bloomed blossoms just wafting through the air really beautiful to see and so fragrant that they just do something for us lifting our spirit or they can be like a, an infection slowly seeping out day by day taking just a little bit more until we have nothing left what is it that you are surrounding yourselves with what are you doing what are you allowing in your mind what are you feeding your your head with what are you feeding your heart with what are you feeding your spirit with is it that fresh scent of wafting whenever that just just lifts you up or is it that infectious stuff that is slowly taking piece by piece of you that you'll never get back we deserve nothing from this world but we deserve everything from ourselves and all that jesus went to the cross to allow us to live and grow and be i can assure my own emotions and feelings i battle not to feel with are real and meaningful and drive me over the edge on any given day and anybody really close to me so though the desires sometimes get the best of me though the heaviness of others words or truly I am not exempt beyond all my best intentions to be told by those I've that you've given your best to that they tell you it's not enough and when you cannot do any more they tell you to just go mm -mm, off yeah life is hard people are hard everybody's going through something In the moments that cut you, in the moments that a response is given and, and you have told them the same, as you're tired of defending any good intentions and that deep-seated feelings of all that could have been beautiful, could be beautiful, knowing serving others allows me personally to thrive. When the flesh takes over, the spirit works hard not to be. Once again, the journey has taken you that far left turn and you will never allow things to ever be what they were when you first started out. Mistakes happen and if we repeat them, if we allow them to continue, they are choices. We all must choose, we all must choose who will ultimately be, ultimately be our sustainer. The one and only God, Son of Man, Christ Jesus, or those that we keep hidden in the dark corners of our lives along with the reasons we do not we do what we do or allow what is being done getting back up is hard holding on to purpose when we hold on to all that the world allows gives and takes makes it near impossible i will never be enough for this world if nothing at all for many for some just enough and for others somewhere out out there amazing and in truth all that matters for me and for you is what we mean to the one that gave his all to allow us to experience this journey our vessels may be tattered torn and eventually no longer you know they're, they're going to be gone but our souls will forever fly fly high either in christ earning the wings or above the flames of the eternal rotisserie of hell to ev never escape the torments that should have never been and it's all because we need to make a choice right here, right now. Call out to Jesus. If you don't know him, call out. If you do know him and you've just stepped away, call back and ask for forgiveness. Invite him back in and do your best to get it right. My mind maze and all those wires firing off, as anybody knows, man, it's just how much peace I have when I cling to Jesus and all that God meant by sending Christ to here to live in me to suffer to die I will never be perfect no one will but it does not mean I will never stop trying to see the best in anyone or anyone that I am allowed to co connect even when I am steamrolled over I will never stop trying to be my best my always authentic self so darn transparent and makes it so easy to fall short i will never stop or change the fact what hurts the most is in reality of this world it slaps us hard and it hurts our loved ones and all of our connections 
or shows us that talk can be expensive but meaningless, while actions in truth sometimes hurt that which is lasting towards the promise and acknowledgement of all we were chosen to be. It is what it is until it's not. Sometimes all we can do is let go and let God, right? I know, how many times have you heard that old cliche? Let it go, let it hurt, let it heal. For God is above, below, east and west. Will you allow him to live within your spirit no matter how crazy, broken, beautiful, or uncertain you feel or you think that is? No matter what, you will never be the same. You will be better than you have ever been. It is not rocket science. You do, you have to do it, see it, feel it for yourself. I can sit here and talk all day. I can get all tongue twisted and, and misspeak and say this or that that doesn't make sense or, oh yeah, that really makes sense. But you have to do it yourself. You have to acknowledge it yourself. Nobody can do it for you. Make time and invite Jesus into your life and ask him to show you the way as he is the ultimate way maker. Tell him, scream at him, cry to him, pray with him, pray for him, pray. Just pray. But do it every day you are given. It will never stop the pains of living in this broken world or even what you contribute to at times. But you will find greater peace when you dive in and find God and who he really is and what he ultimately sees in and for you. Forgive anyone who has offended you and seek forgiveness from Christ Jesus for all you have done. Dive into his truth in as many ways in it that are available today. Learn to never stop loving yourself no matter who else does or does not. No one else is going to take care of you. They're going to take from you. Even their best intentions eventually are going to take from you. No matter how much you love someone, it's going to hurt. Love hurts. But think about the pain that Christ went through because he loved us to give us life. Anyway, this was yesterday. I tried to finish it yesterday. I had four different attempts. And here it is, long-winded. I wish you the best of everything. I wish you many blessings. And I truly forgive anyone who's ever stepped on me or pushed me down in that mud or made me feel and taken my peace as I ask for forgiveness for anyone that I have offended. With that, until the next one, Stay blessed and know your worth in Christ. And thank you, above all, for listening to this crazy, crazy mind maze dump from September 24th, 2020.